Let's have a look at all these inequalities. First question, negative 4x less than or equal to 1. So we're going to divide by negative 4 on each side of this inequality. Because negative 4 is a negative number, when we divide it by negative number, we have to flip the inequality sign. So we have x is bigger than or equals to negative 1 on 4. So remember, we times or divide by a negative number on each side of inequalities, we have to flip the sign. If it's times positive number, we don't have to. Negative number, we have to flip. So let's have a look. Second question. x on 4 less than or equal to 1. We have denominator 4. So we're going to remove denominator by times 4 on each side. Since 4 is positive numbers, so when we divide it, we don't have to flip the sign. So we get x is less than or equal to 4. Right, finish. Next question is x squared on 4 less than or equal to 1. So we also have denominator 4, and we still need to remove denominator, and we can still do times 4 on each side without flipping the sign. We have x squared less than or equal to 4. But we have x squared. So this is a quadratic inequality. It's different from the first two questions. So to be able to do quadratic inequalities, we have a few steps to go. First step, we make zero on one side. But move the four to the left hand side, make zero. Second step, we sketch in the left hand side. We sketch in y equals to x squared minus four. And we know this is going to be a parabola. We do our rough sketchings with y intercepts negative four and x intercepts two and negative two. So we have a parabola. To using the parabola, we know we're going to have y is less than or equal to zero. And y less than or equal to zero, which means below the x-axis, the yellow part is the answer. And to able to get in that yellow part of the parabola, we can see my x value has to be in between 2 and a negative 2. So this is your answer. Okay, let's move on to next question. 4 on x less than or equal to 1 is also have denominator. Looks like we're going to remove denominator. But this time your denominator is x, and we don't know x is positive or negative. So how are we going to times on each side? We don't know positive or negative. So to able to remove, this time we times denominator square to make sure we actually times a positive number on each side. So I'm going to times x square on each side to remove the denominator. So x square times the left hand side for x less than or equals to 1, then also times the x square. It's very important times denominator square to make sure we actually times a positive number. And then we simplify, we get uh, 4x less than or equals to x square. So become quadratic inequality again. So we're going to make 0 on one side. And we're going to sketch in the parabola y equals to x squared minus 4x. And we're using the parabola to find the, which section of the parabola is above 0 this time. Because we need a bigger than or equal to 0. The parabola with 0 and the 4 is the x-intercepts. Okay, and then this time we need a bigger than or equal to zero, so we need this part and this part bigger than or equal to zero. To able to get in these two parts of the problems, we can see my x value is bigger than or equals to four, or x is less than or equal to zero. So it looks like we finished, but. Since the denominator was unknown was x, so make sure the next step is we have to check if the denominator cannot be 0. And my answer actually has denominator equal, has x equal to 0. I have to remove that part. So in the end, my final answer is x bigger than or equal to 4 or x is just less than 0, not equal to 0. 
So beware of these questions. We have two green paths. One green is time denominator squared. Another green is make sure you checking denominator equal to zero. So this is the ideas to do inequality with unknown on denominator. So we have our last question here, and this is a challenge questions. Let's start. Firstly, we have denominator has unknown. We're going to times denominator square on each side. I'm going to write in the green denominator square on each side. So times 2x minus 3 square on this inequality. So times 8, 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 2x minus 1 times the green. 2x minus 3 squared. Okay, so after that, I'm simplifying to 8. Oops, make white. 8, 2x minus 3 or square. No, no square because we cancel that. Okay, and then less than equals to 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 3 or squared. So again, you have a power of more than one, so it's become a polynomial in the qualities. And we rely on the sketchings. So I'm going to make zero first. But I move everything on one side. So this time I move everything onto the left hand side. Minus that. And the 2x minus 3 squared less than or equal to zero. So next step, most of the students will tell me, oh, I'm going to expand it and simplify, and then I'm sketching. So remember, you sketching these polynomial functions, we rely on your x-intercepts, which we need to factorize instead of expanding. So to able to factorize, we don't expanding at this stage, we actually continue to factorize by taking the common factors, uh, these two are common factors, this and this. We take common factor outside and then we continue factorize after that. So I had 8 minus 2x minus 1 and another 2x minus 3 left, less than or equal to 0. So we're taking that outside, expanding inside 8 minus 4x squared. Uh, plus 6x um, plus 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 0 then we tidy them up into 8 minus 4x square plus 8x minus 3 less than or equal to 0 more simplifying get a negative 4x square plus 8x plus 5 less than or equal to 0. The negative 4x square is not easy to factorize, so I'm going to make positive 4x square negative 8x negative 5 make it bigger than or equal to 0. Again, why? Because um, times a negative 1 on each side, that's why I flip the sign from negative less than or equal to 0 to bigger than or equal to 0. Okay, so now I'm going to continue. Now we can easily factorize more by 2x minus 3, and here we can do 2x minus 5 and 2x minus plus 1, bigger than or equal to 0. I think this is the right one. So now we successfully factorize the whole left-hand side, which allows us to sketch in the polynomials. So I'm going to sketch him by just a rough sketching by label the x intercepts or y intercepts. So x intercepts would be 5 on 2 and 3 on 2 and negative half. And then your y intercepts is going to be positive 15. So then I'll do the rough sketchings. So your problem is going to be like this, polynomial, polynomial curve, it's going to be like this. And this time we need a bigger than or equal to zeros, which means I need these sections 
and these ones, two parts. To able to get these two parts, so you know your X is going to be in between that was three and two and a negative half or x is bigger than equals to five and two but don't forget last checking the green again the denominator cannot equal to zero still remember what is the denominator was 2x minus 3 so you get 2x minus 3 cannot equal to 0 which means x cannot equal to 3 and 2 my answer actually have that x equal to 3 and 2 so i'm going to remove that so my final answer is x is less than 3 and 2 not equals to but this part still bigger than equal to negative half or x is bigger than equals to 5 on 2.